I woke up this morning and decided I needed to do some decluttering in my kitchen. It is 7.52 a.m. I have showered and all that great stuff. I gotta make sure all these areas are clean when I declutter. Also, need to put these dishes away. Ain't no shame either. It is what it is. So I might do, I don't know which ones I'm gonna do today, but I'm gonna do quite a few today because they need done. I don't even wanna go there with those spices, like seriously. Hola, and welcome to Kim at Home. In today's video, I will be decluttering some of these cabinets in the kitchen. They're a hot mess. Every time I open up a cabinet, something falls on me. So it's time to do it. I'm gonna start my kitchen wipe down with vinegar. It's gonna be really quickly because my goal is to organize at least three cabinets today. Let's see how it works. Before I start putting items on the counters and the table, I wanna make sure that everything's cleaned off. Since I'm gonna clean the counters and table off, I figured why not wipe the refrigerator down because you know, it has so many fingerprints on it. Y'all know how it is. If this is your first time on my channel, welcome. I'm Kim, Kim with a Y, K-Y-M. This is my crib. My channel consists of cooking, cleaning, organizing, well, I kind of need help in the organization game, so that's why I'm decluttering today. <laughs> and also other things around the house that my husband can work on, like changing toilets, brakes, tires, that great stuff. Throughout my videos, I like to give you cleaning tips so that you can not spend your whole weekend cleaning your home. Who wants to do that? We need to be spending time with our families, right? Before you leave out, please be sure to hit the like button and also that red subscribe button, as it really helps my channel. Now, before I actually start decluttering, I need to let you know this is not going to be pretty at all. The goal is to declutter today. It's not, you know, organization. It's not making it pretty. It's just getting rid of the things that I don't need. I feel personally like it's always best to start out that way first so you're not overwhelmed in the end. And also know your limits. If you do not feel like doing everything in one day, split it up in two days, split it up in weeks. You know, just figure out what works for you. You have to admit, this looks much better and I'm really pleased. This cabinet holds a plethora of items for so many different people that are not even in my family. So I'm glad that there are some empty spaces. This particular cabinet is like an overflow. It holds home decor and different things like backsplash that I've never put up. So I'm not really gonna do anything to this cabinet. I changed my mind, okay? Just like right in the middle of it. <laughs> I just changed my mind. That's just how it works sometimes, I guess. In this cabinet, I actually found a few Dollar Tree organizers or bins, whatever you wanna call them. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get the tea sorted out into those organizers so it's just not in all these different boxes. That will be the only thing that I do in this cabinet other than like moving things around and getting rid of things that you guys are not gonna see because I did not put that part on camera. The cabinet that I'm working on now holds like all of my coffee cups and then other large cups. And there is a better way to organize it than this. But like I said, I just wanna declutter now so that I can organize later. It's always best to declutter, clean your space and then organize. Not on the same day though, okay? Because I know my limits. <laughs> The cabinet underneath the sink holds all of my cleaning supplies for downstairs. I will be recording a video in the future letting you know what cleaning supplies I have and what I use each cleaning supply for. I bet you guys only thought I had vinegar, right? Mm-hmm. I have other stuff too, just saying. 
So I'm really going through these to see if there's anything that I need to throw away. Maybe there's something that's kind of empty that I can pour into another bottle because there's a lot of stuff underneath here. One thing that I do do when I organize, or when I try to organize for that matter, my organized chaos, you know, I always make sure that the items that are I'm organizing are turned face forward so that when I open the cabinet, I know exactly what I need and I can just grab it out. This is as good as it's gonna get right now, and I'm glad that now I can just open it without anything falling on me. <laughs> That's the goal, to make sure things don't fall on me. I have definitely worked up an appetite trying to organize my chaos. So now I'm gonna cook some food. Here are my ingredients for what I'm gonna make for myself for breakfast. Just some green peppers, green onions, cheese, a taco bowl, steakums, and eggs. It's about to go down. For those of you who are new, let me tell you a few things about myself. My name is Kim. I love to eat. I like to cook. I like to clean because I have OCD and clean spaces make my mind feel better. I like to clean with vinegar. And that, I think that's about it. <laughs> oh, one more thing. I choose peace over chaos. is actually one of my go-to breakfast meals. I really like to have like breakfast burritos for breakfast just because I like to eat. I really, really wish you guys could smell it because it smells amazing. And I only eat on fine china. <laughs> my new vacuum cleaner that I want to try is Method. So I'll be trying it with you guys. I'm gonna just do a quick tidy in my half bath. I got out to Lowe's yesterday to get some cleaning supplies and I saw this Method bathroom cleaner. I have never seen it before, so I decided I wanted to try it because I really like their wood cleaner. So let me educate you on this cleaner really quickly. This Method cleaner is eucalyptus mint. It smells minty fresh. A little bit goes a long way and also it does not leave streaks when you clean off whatever space you're cleaning. And for me, streaks, that's a no-no. That's just my personal thing because I own a cleaning company. So when I teach people how to clean, I'm like, wipe it until there's nothing else on there. You want to wipe it clean. I don't like streaks, just saying. Imagine if you hired a cleaning company and they came in your home and you still had a bunch of streaks on your windows and on your appliances. You would not like that, right? Yes, so clean thoroughly. For the toilet clean, I sprayed the Method Cleaner, but I'm also using Clorox wipes. And as you can see, I'm using one wipe per area. But I know some of you do not like to see toilet cleaning videos, so I'm just gonna hurry up and move along. But just remember to clean the entire toilet from top to bottom, the floor around it, and also the wall, because you know, it splatters. Do what you want to do, see what you want. For my door clean, I'm gonna use a different cleaning cloth, not the same one that I actually wiped the floor with. This town is quiet when it's late, yeah. 
you guys. I like the cleaner. I really, really do. I think I'm gonna incorporate this cleaner in my bathroom with the vinegar as well, but I really do like this cleaner and I even did the floors with it. Typically, I just use vinegar, but this really worked out well for me. I'm excited. If you follow me on Instagram, you already know that the lawn care people actually sprayed weed killer on my flower bed. I literally opened the door and just stared. I wanted to cry, but I didn't. Anyway, this is what the flower bed is looking like. It's kind of bare, but these flowers are really pretty. The hubs decided to install some LED headlights, so that is what he's doing right now. For those of you who made it this far, thank you so much. I do not take it lightly. I am so thankful for all of the kind comments and all of the genuine support that I receive. And as far as my health, I'm getting stronger. You have a light bulb and a fuse that you're changing. Which lights are these, the fog? Well, these, these are the headlights. The LEDs. LED Get headlight. Girl. Get it, girl. Hey. Bye. Go, Norby. Go, Normie. You dance? What do you want? Yeah. You want to go inside? Yeah. No? What's he doing? Oh. I really think she meant yes, but you know how kids are. <laughs> well, I got to take all this stuff out, okay? Can I take it out for you to play with? Probably really can't tell right now, but they are a lot brighter than what they were. Thank you again for watching the video. I truly, truly appreciate it. I pray that all of you have an amazing day. Turn it off. Yeah, take the key out. Now you gotta lock the doors. And don't forget to look in the mirror and say, I am loved, because you are. Bye guys.